My name's Jake, I'm from West Kelowna. Um, I went to Mount Bushri Secondary School. Uh, I live in the Glen Rosa area. And one of my favorite parts of Kelowna is probably the community and the amazing weather in the summer. Yeah, I was uh, around 14 when I started using drugs. Um, I felt like my problem, I feel like my problem started before then, um, obsessing over things other than drugs. And then when I found drugs, all that energy went towards my obsession and addiction um, with drugs. And really what happened is I started pushing people away. I stopped hanging out with my family. I kind of cut my parents out of my life um, because it didn't seem cool to me back then and it sucks to think about now but you know it helped me get to where I am today so my relationship with my family was nothing it was non-existent I didn't want well I didn't think that I wanted them in my life I blamed them for everything um, but, you know, a lot of my family cut me out of their lives, um, but my mom always, always, like, tried to help me, and, uh, yeah, she always loved me through thick and thin, and, uh, without that, I don't know, I don't know, she, she was the one who helped me get here, so, got kicked out of my parents' house again, went and lived in Vernon, uh, in the Okanagan for a few more months and after those months in, uh, in Dirty Vern I, uh, I really realized that enough is enough and it doesn't matter where I went, who I was living with, uh, it, it all came down to who I was on the inside and uh, I realized that I couldn't run away from my problems anymore and then once I decided that I uh, wanted to go to treatment and really give it a shot. Um, my mom was there to support me and I already knew the process of how to get uh, linked in. Um, so yeah, and she was recommended uh, by people she knew to check out The Last Door. Yeah, uh, going to The Last Door youth program really made me feel the first day I was very nervous. Um, and walking in the doors for the first time. They took me around back and introduced me to some guys who were working in the garden. And initially I thought they were staff because they were so happy and they were getting work done and they were making the place look spick and span, like in the yard, it just looked beautiful. And I introduced myself to them while well, I was introduced to them and all the guys in the house. And uh, it wasn't for like a couple hours where I realized like, those guys who were working were actually clients there and they were just, you know, giving back. And um, initially I felt really nervous and I didn't think I was gonna fit in, but you know, the guys in the house really um, surrounded me and, you know, took me under their wings and it, it, it was a pretty quick shift to uh, feel the camaraderie. If I had to say, one specific moment of my favorite part in the Last Door Youth Program, it would be hard to choose because we did a lot of good things, a lot of fun things. Um, in terms of favorite moment, I remember uh, we had a big family day, the youth door, uh, the Westie house and the um, adult door all got together and invited all their families out. Everyone who could make it made it and we had a big sports family day and there was bubble ball there. And I think one of my favorite parts was just creaming people and getting creamed in bubble ball and uh, those buckets of fun. Um, but if I had to just say my overall favorite part was the consistent you know, friendship and the bonds that I, uh, I formed with people. It was, um, you know, I never thought I'd be able to make friends like that in my life. I hadn't prior to that really. And uh, it really showed me that, you know, there are people out there that care. So my family participated a few times because we were from Kelowna. They didn't get to come out as much as they'd like, but whenever they did, they came out several times throughout my treatment stay. 
Um, there was always a bed for them to stay in, a suite for them to stay in, and I got extra time to just uh, take a minute and, um, you know, refresh and see them. And it was nice because there was a lot of responsibility around seeing them. I, uh, I got to prepare the suite for them, and then I got to take pride in, in knowing, like, yeah, they're coming, and I'm making sure that they enjoy their stay, so it was really nice. For me, The Last Door prepared me for going home um, with a whole ton of exercises that we do while we're there. We have uh, visit plans. Every single time I went to visit home, I made a plan. I had a plan, this is who I'm gonna see, this is who I'm gonna hang out with, these are sort of the, what I'm gonna, you know, hold myself accountable to, so when I did go home the final time, I, I had that idea in my head, like, this is who I want to be when I go home. And, um, and then when I went there, there were already alumni in Kelowna who I could instantly just link in with, um, have support, and like even when you leave, there's that last door camaraderie, and uh, you know, I'm still friends with those people to this day, so it's awesome. I definitely use the tools I learned in treatment on an everyday basis. I, uh, you know, when I went in, I was very argumentative. I wasn't an easy person to get along with. And, uh, you know, in treatment, I learned how to just, you know, let things go, admit when I'm wrong, um, you know. Those qualities have to do with drug addiction in a profound way because what I've learned throughout treatment is um, for me and for a lot of the people that I know it really wasn't even about the drugs like of course you're I was um, abusing drugs and it was hard for me to stop I felt like I couldn't stop but deep down what it was for me really is my lack of um, ability to process the feelings I had inside, how to, I didn't know how to treat people right, I didn't know how to have a relationship with people, all I knew was, was everything I learned in my drug addiction. So what I really focused on in treatment and what a lot of people focus on in treatment is taking all those negative qualities and turning them into positive qualities. And once I was able to do that, I didn't have a huge reason to use drugs anymore. I wasn't always upset with myself or someone else. I didn't hate myself anymore, you know? I loved being alive, so. If you're having difficulties deciding whether or not you want to go to treatment and whether or not you want to go to the last door, I'd really take a second and think about like what you really have to lose in trying, you know? I hear it all the time, you know, your, your misery is refunded at the door. You can always go back if that's what you decide, but you know, personally, I'm glad that I took the, the trek over and committed to staying because my life wouldn't be the same without it. I am 22 years old and I have three and a half years clean.